Welcome to Inbox with Julia Cosby. On this episode, we're joined with a very musical guest, Maddie Little, who is a singer-songwriter for the band We Wonder. behind your music video, Rock and a Hard Place. Everyone seems to be always on their phone and, and addicted to like social media and like how people perceive them. And um, it's really about this girl trying to get away from her phone because it's such a negative spot um, and like trying to find like a new outlook on life. What has been the feedback that you've been receiving about your music video? Um, we've received um, a lot of really like nice feedback just um, kind of opening up uh, a lot of like, you know, people's minds. Uh, there's this youth center that I used to volunteer at called Resol, and um, they like, they uh, deal with a lot of teens who are in a broken home. And so, uh, you know, they were able to share it and like, I, I hope all, all the teens there got to see it. And like, um, I think the main thing is, is trying not to, live your life for social media and really like live your life to live your life. Can you tell me more about your band and how did you guys all meet? Um, yeah, so uh, we met, so it's weird because me and Jacob, our drummer, uh, we actually went to school together like our whole lives and we didn't really talk to each other. Um, and then one day like I posted an ad looking for a drummer and he messaged me and I was like, okay, like, yeah, uh, all right, let's, let's try it out. And like, uh, now we're like best friends. Um, and it's been like really nice to kind of come along with him. And uh, with Camila, we went to the same school. So um, we were able to connect that way. Um, and he's our bass player. So those are our two main uh, players in the band. And then we have a violin player who's currently in school for um, engineering. So he's all the way in the UK. But wow. when he was with us, um, we met uh, through my church and yeah. Mm -hmm. Your group has won Best New Group 2020 for Mississauga Music Awards after being nominated in 2019 and 2020. What did that win symbolize to you? Um, well, we were actually like super surprised um, because like winning anything in the pandemic is like kind of like what? <laughs> um, so it was it was really cool to like have that little success and it was definitely one of our goals that we checked off just to like kind of it, it just showed like um all the stuff that we've been working towards and like um it kept us it gave us that like little boost to keep going especially during the pandemic it's been so hard just to like um really see a future with music because there's been no live shows which thankfully like everything is opening back up so it's been it's been great also, you had a cover reposted by the Lumineers. Can you tell me about how that happened? Um, yeah, so they have this like, I wouldn't call it a contest. It's just more so like this thing where uh, they said like, you know, post a cover uh, and like use a hashtag reharmonize uh, Lumineers. And so we uh, we were like, oh, okay, let's try it out. Um, and we posted the cover and like a couple months went by and we didn't think anything of it. And I was in the grocery store and like uh, Jacob called me, our drummer, and was like, uh, have you looked at Instagram? And I was like, no, like, <laughs> and uh, I checked and like they had shared it and like all of a sudden we, we got like uh, a bunch of people like blowing up our Instagram. We're like, what's going on? It was a very crazy experience, but uh, it was so great because then we got to connect uh, with people from like all over the place. And, you know, it was nice to meet new people. 
Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. How, how did you get your start in music? Because you, you've been perform you've been performing even solo for for so many years. Yeah. Um, so, actually, like, I I think it was more so. I, I had this friend, and like, uh, I was like, yeah, like I guess I can kind of sing. And I was in like, I think I was in like middle school. And she's like, oh, like sing for me, sing for me. And like, eventually I did. And and she went around like the whole school and was like, oh my god, like Mad Maddie can sing, like Maddie. Can and I was like, oh okay. <laughs> and then um, I did this talent show and uh, uh, with a friend and like it, it just kind of like opened my eyes. I was like, wow, like this is fun. Like I really like this. I'm gonna keep doing it. And then my mom bought me a guitar and um, I started taking guitar lessons. And then. Um, and then, like, also, um, I started going to this church, and like, uh, I joined this band there, and like, that really taught me a lot as well. Like, especially playing with like other musicians, which really helped me when it came to We Wander. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to sing maybe um, like a short verse from one of your songs, or oh, like right. a song that you really enjoy? Uh, yeah, like just uh, on the spot here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should I should I have my guitar or just is that okay? okay? Yeah, br bring it here. Okay, one second. Let me grab it. Um, yeah, so this um, this song is from uh, one of the singles we've released uh, called Bridges. So I could I'll play you a little bit of that. Okay. Okay. Take me back. Did you write that song? Yeah. <laughs> w what is it about? Um, I wrote that one um, uh, kind of like just about um, kind of like breaking past like some of my insecurities, I think, um, and just trying to like get outside of my comfort zone. Well, so would you call this an unplugged performance? You're yeah. so like so raw and like so beautiful. I feel like there's there's so many artists out there who, you know, they they need like an engineer, they need some like help, uh, but oh my gosh, so naturally talented, <laughs> like right on the spot. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was very unexpected. I wasn't prepared for that. I, I wasn't expecting you either, but I'm so glad I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just have a question about how many other musicians have you had the chance to collaborate with? Because in 2017, you won a contest to sing with a band called This Wild Life at the Velvet Underground in Toronto. Uh, clearly, they saw what I just saw in you. So how, how many other artists have you been able to collaborate with? Um, so I've been pretty lucky. Um, I went to school um, a school called Metalworks in Mississauga, and uh, I met a ton of musicians there. Um, so, uh, you know, we got to do lots of like class projects, and um, like we did a, an ensemble class where we would have to like uh, play with each other and, and do like like a whole band um, with like everyone in my class, which was a lot of fun um, and a lot of work, uh, and like. I, you know, and I guess like it, it's crazy because I've definitely met a lot of people through music and uh, I don't think I would be like where I am today if, well I definitely wouldn't be where I am today like if I didn't have that in my life and 
I'm very grateful for the people that I've met. Um, and I've learned a lot like from so many different people. So it's been a great experience. Like music has really brought me um, together with so many people. Well, in addition to having a beautiful voice, you also have a very big heart. So much so that you traveled all the way to Haiti to paint orphanages. What was that experience like for you? Um, that was very life changing. Um, so like, I remember like the second, so the first time that I went, um, it was a great experience and it was very life changing, but I was pretty young at the time. And like, I don't think I realized um, what was going on um, as much as I did the second time. Like the second time I went, it hit me a lot harder. Like the last day I had to, we were leaving and like, I, I, was a, I was a mess. Like I just, I just kept thinking like, you know, like, like how can these people be so happy with so little and like, I like I still like find myself, you know, wanting things that I don't need, which um, I think almost ties back again into that like um, social media concept. Like you know, you just it's always seeing people and like I want what they want, and and you, and you can't really think like that. Um, like you, you just really have to be grateful for what you have in life. Um, and like Haiti definitely opened my eyes to that, and I was very lucky to experience that. This past year, you've released five singles and one music video for your song, Rock in a Hard Place, which premiered on Indie 88 and has also streamed over 16,000 times on Spotify. Can you tell me about your new releases? Um, yeah, so um, we weren't sure, like right before the pandemic happened, uh, we had this whole plan of like kind of releasing, um, you know, one song after another um, and then releasing it all as an EP. Um, but like, it just like the pandemic kind of changed everything and we weren't able to kind of do, um, what we wanted to do and like have release parties and stuff because live music wasn't, wasn't a thing. Um, so yeah, we've just been kind of focused on releasing single by single. We've been writing a lot. Um, and like, we've learned a lot too, just by releasing like by ourselves and independently and trying to figure out like how all the algorithms work. It's a lot. Well, currently you're working in the film industry. So what are you doing over there, Maddie? Um, so I'm working as a props person. So like um, I, I, I just kind of like uh, get props and stuff for people. Um, uh, so I just finished working on, on a show um, as like just um, like, you know, I, I'm trying to think of like some of the things that I did. It's kind of a weird job to describe um, because there's so much to do with props. Like for example, like cell phones or like flashlights, um, anything that like an actor will be holding. So, um, but it's it's been great. Like I've only been there for a couple months um, or a month maybe, um, but I've already learned so much in that. So, yeah. Well, I can imagine your, your crew's probably pretty entertained. Maybe you're singing to them like while you're... <laughs> Oh no, I'm very shy there. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and, and like, it's, I mean, but I, you know, I've definitely been uh, lucky enough to like uh, meet a lot of people already through there. So that's been really great as well. Well, thank you so much, Maddie Little, for joining me today. I'm sure my viewers cannot wait to stream your singles. And thank you so much to our viewers for watching Inbox with Julia Cosby at the International News Channel.